Hey everybody, what's going on? Rudy here with the Retro Universe. And a few months back, I put out a video showing you how to add music from iTunes onto your iPod. However, that was using a Windows PC running Windows 10. And fortunately, iTunes is no longer available on Apple computers. So first thing I wanna mention, because a lot of people were saying that their iPods are not even getting recognized on their PC or Macs, make sure you use a 30 pin connector that allows for data transfer. Unfortunately, there's some out there that are only used for charging. If you can find an OEM version, go ahead and get that. But yeah, some of the cables just won't work and won't transfer any data to computers. So that's why they're not getting recognized. As you can see here, it instantly recognized that it was now connected. And on the top right, it pops up the iPod. And then it's going to show up here in Apple Music. So on Macs, you use the Apple Music app in order to put music onto the iPod. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, well, how do you even get music? Unfortunately, if you have something like Apple, uh, Apple Music subscription, you can't transfer that music over to the iPod because the iPod has no internet source to verify those purchases. So the way you're going to have to get music, it's going to be through MP3s, CDs and such. You can buy music from the store. You can get MP3 music from uh, Amazon's, you know, online store and stuff. But Let's go ahead and show you here. I got System of a Down's album, and I already have this on my iPod, but I'm gonna go ahead and drag a couple songs. And that's really all it is. You just drag and drop music into the iPod when it gets highlighted on there. I know other people have shown different ways of doing this, but honestly, this is the easiest way. You can drag a bunch of music at once, and depending on how much music you're transferring, it could take seconds or a couple minutes. Again, it depends on how much you're transferring over, but it really is that easy. It's just dragging and dropping tracks onto the iPod. One thing you also always want to make sure is when you are going to disconnect your iPod, you hit the eject option. You can also drag the file that was at the top right and drag it to the trash can to eject it and only eject it once it says that it's good to go. Otherwise, you could harm your iPod's hard drive that way. So let's head over to music and see if the system of a down tracks that I just added are on there. Now, as mentioned, I did have the album already on there, so it's just going to have two duplicate versions of those first two tracks. Yep. So there you go. Prison song and needles were added twice and I could go back in, connect it to remove them because I don't need double versions of them. But really, there's nothing else to it, guys. Again, the thing people are going to ask is how do I actually get the music? You're going to have to get CDs. Unfortunately, Macs and stuff don't have CD drives anymore. So you're going to have to find some kind of external USB DVD drive that lets you rip music to the computer. There's lots of videos and tutorials out there, but also make sure you have a good 30 pin connector cable um, that does data transfer. It's pretty straightforward guys i'm not sure why people have some trouble with it and i'm sorry if you do have trouble with it but as you saw here i just connected it and the music came up right away hopefully this video helped you guys out on how to put the music onto the ipod let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or you just want to talk about ipods and such hope you guys have a great rest of your day and have a wonderful weekend take it easy Bye bye